Hi all. Welcome to EIESB Mule 4 to 4 minutes videos. In this video you are going to learn about database connector in Mule 4 to connect with Oracle database. Let's jump into the application development. Open any point studio, click on file new Mule project and give a project name. Click on finish. Now drag and drop HTTP listener connector to get the requests for your service. Click on new connector configurations and give the host and port number. Click on test connection. If the port is not in use then you will get a test connection successful message, click on OK. And also provide path to it. By default Mule 4 won't have database connector, so go to palette and click on add module. Select the module you want to add from the list of available module and click on finish. Now drag and drop the database delete connector. Give an appropriate display name for the database delete connector. Earlier Mule versions have the only one database connector which can be used for multiple operations based on its position. But in the new Mule 4 version database module have multiple connectors based on the operation like select, create insert, update, delete, bulk select, bulk insert, bulk update etc. Select the database connection from the drop-down list. Select Oracle connection to connect with Oracle server. Click on the dependency and the Oracle dependency. Now give the host, port, user, password of your Oracle server. Click on the test connection. Now you can see that the mule is successfully connected with the Oracle server. Write a delete query to remove the records from database dynamically, in order to send the records dynamically, we need to create the variables and set variable values from query params in a structured JSON format, in input parameters tab, we are going to fetch the query params details from the attributes. In the HTTP listener itself you can configure the response message in responses, write an appropriate success response message. Now save your project. Right click on the canvas and run the Mule project. By default Mule will download required artifacts and dependencies from the Maven repository, if your project doesn't have any errors it shows a success message as deployed. Now go to Postman. Give the service URL and set query params according to given query params in the application and then click on send. Congratulations your service is working fine you can see the success message as database deleted successfully. That's all for this video. You will see some other interesting demos in next videos. For any queries please reach us at mule4beta at